Hello, this is a quick guide on how to perform two important tasks. The first is downloading the results of the level check or any assessment that we've done on the Swift SS and how to transfer this data we download into the Excel sheet provided by the assessment department. Let's first log in to our account on SwiftSS, sa.moe.gov.ae. The first thing that we want to do is go to Analytics, Assessments, and from Assessments, we're going to go to Exam Question Mark. Going to exam question marks, we're going to select our program. In my case, it's 12G or 12 General English course and 2021 term one. Then we're going to download each of the level check use of English. Download all results. Even if you have six classes under grade 12 or grade 10, download it as one sheet. And that will be proved to be helpful later, as we will see. And then we do the reading skills, also download it. So here we have all our uh, prerequisites. Of course, we're going to save the uh, files in the right place. So here we've got four important um, files that we need. These are the reading skills downloaded, the use of English downloaded, and then the modified level check score analysis tool plus the class list that you are working with. So all your class lists separated into classes as you want to, to obtain or to um, perform one class per Excel sheet. Okay, so let's first go through the... Uh, tool, the analysis tool, and see how it works. Once you open the analysis tool, it will have the same tabs that are provided by the ministry. And here I'm working on the grade 10 to 12, the total sheet, use of English score check. I have modified on the formulas here. So whatever you uh, do, please do not delete any of the cells that has a formula. Then the reading calculator check also will have the formula for copying the student's name and student ID. Then these are the two extra tabs which are labeled actual and actual here refer to the actual or row marks from the downloaded score sheet. This we will see how to paste the uh, scores from News of English and this one or the reading skills. So let's start building our Excel sheet. Step one copy the names from the source data. So if I want to work on 12, let's work on 12G2. Okay, so I've got the names. I'll copy them, whether Control C or just copy paste it. Select the first cell on the uh, column and Control V, paste them. Then we go to the uh, ESIS number, do the same, select all ESIS number for the students, and make sure you paste them on the first cell. It's always good to keep on validating the data as you move. Okay, so once you've done this, and we are working here on Use of English Score Check tab. Once you do this, it will be copied to the reading calculator check automatically, and it will also be copied to the total sheet. So what's next then? That is step one, copying the names. Step two, going to the use of English, actual marks, and the reading calculator actual marks. We're going to open the Excel sheet. Let's start with the use of English. Once we open the Excel sheet that we've downloaded, we have the second step that we need to do, which is going to column D, selecting it, cut it, and going to column A, highlight it, and insert cut cells. Okay, so we're gonna do this in both files. 
We started with the use of English, then let's go to the reading skills and have our data ready for us. So here is the reading skills, as you can see. And going again to the ESIS number on column D, select it all, cut it, go to column A, right click, insert cut cells. So here we've got our data, then we're going to select all the data using Control A or just highlight it and select it. Control C, we're copying the data. We're into the reading. Here we've got this is the reading data, so we're going to paste it into the reading and just paste the, the data. Once we start pasting the data, go to the reading calculator check, you'll find the data already being processed. Now, let's do the same with the use of English. Let's go to the use of English, highlight or select the first cell, select it all, and then Control C, copy the data, go to the use of English on the tool, make sure you are on the first cell and just paste. Okay, so here it is, our work is done. Now, what this has done is, we've got here about 42 students because these are two classes combined. As you can see, it is G1 and G2. Now, what the uh, formula does is obtaining the results of all the students or only the students that I have their ESIS number here. So that is why the ESIS number is a very important um, data to be provided properly and clearly. So if I've got all the ESIS numbers for 12G2, then it will obtain all the data from the original only of 12G2. So if you have six classes, seven classes, no worries. You just do this step once. Okay, so here I've got two classes combined. Here I've got them sorted. Just save them. And this is 12G2. Now I want to do one for 12G1. So I will save as. And I will change the name. Now this is 12G1. I will save. That is a new file. I will start clearing the unnecessary data and the unnecessary data for me here is only the names and the ESIS number of 12G2. I will clear it so there, will no be, there won't be any uh, scores here nor on the reading calculator check. But I will still have the raw data for both classes here. So. My second step then, after cleaning the names and the student ID, is just going to my Word document or my rosters and looking for the data for 12G1. Copy it, the names by themselves because the order is different. On use of English, score check, select and paste it. Go to the ACES number. Do the same step, control C, select the first and paste it. And as you can see directly, the data started to be generated on the use of English score check, on the reading calculator check, as well as on the total sheet. So this is my second class which is 12G1, I'll save it and you can do the third and the fourth if you have all the data under the actual sheets, okay? So, hope this, is, uh, this was easy, hope uh, that was useful for you. I will eventually share with you the Excel sheet and if you need any more help, please feel free to communicate and I will always be happy to help. Thank you and good luck.